Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Solar, Solar Project. Project. And this is my daughter, Angela Summers. And this is my dad, Craig Wolf. And this is my daughter, Joanna Summers. This Yay. is this is the reason that we started this solar project. It's because of this little guy here. And this is Bob Grove of the Climate Council. We will be talking to him today. And thank you very much for your services. Thank Check, you. Checks in the mail. Was that okay? Yeah. Okay. And today we'll be talking about the Climate Council of Greater Kansas City. And we'll be right back. So today we are sitting with Bob Grove of the Climate Council of Greater Kansas City. And in full disclosure, I am a partner with, or at least my organization, Heartland Renewable Energy Society, and the Solar Project are both partners with the Climate Council. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and you can do that right here. So let's start off, Bob. What is the Climate Council? Well, you just jump right in, don't you? Yeah. Climate Council, um, fairly new. It's a nonprofit, 501c3, so it's IRS recognized. It is tax deductible. Um, the important thing is that the Climate Council is a resource and a platform that's available to all environmental groups in the entire bi state wide metro region. Uh, what we're trying to do is amplify the voices of existing environmental groups and help them become more effective in this fight against global warming climate change. Right. We're very happy to have you and Angela as part of our part of our platform, if you will. You know, one of our partners. Happy to be here. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, so, what if I already work with an environmental group? Um, what can the Climate Council do for us? Well, that, that's exactly who we're working with. We're, there's actually two sides of the platform. Obviously, there's there's the content side, and that's where we're looking to existing environmental groups. Sure. Um, if you're working with a group, we, we'd love to partner with you. Um, what we're doing is helping amplify your voice by taking the things you normally do and putting them through our platform and making them available to the entire metro area. So if you have a group, you know, if you're already working with a group, um, come to our website, climatecouncilgkc.org. Come look around the, the website and you'll see the types of things we're doing. We have a news blog where you can post your articles on the activities you're doing, things that are important for you. We have a um, events catalog, uh, events um, calendar, if you will, that is trying to pull together all the environmental events in the area. So, you know, it becomes a hub where people can come and see a lot of things that are going on. And we also have presentation catalogs. So if you do a, an environmental presentation, or Craig, if you're a speaker, you know, just general topics, we help get word out about what you're doing and, you know, again, amplify those voices. Yeah, I think in, in one of our steering committee meetings, we realized that the perfect word for what we do is we're a hub. Exactly. We're a technology hub mm -hmm. uh, so that all kinds of environmental groups can plug into it and then all kinds of people who want to know what is going on environmentally can also plug into it. So uh, exactly. tell, us, tell us a little bit more about how the calendar works. Uh, the calendar is um, just a centralized calendar. I mean, you have your events on there, it can link out to your own pages. Um, once you become a partner, we basically give you an account, you log into the website and you post your events. Um, we try to focus, as a nonprofit, we're focusing on educational, events obviously we're focusing on free events to the public we're working really hard to make sure that all of our resources are available to as wide an audience as possible so you know we do focus on the free events um, free presentations speakers and such um, you know if you're um, not your group per se but you know if you're any other group and you have a, a small group 15 or more people we're very happy to put a free speaker at your monthly meetings or whatever and, and help you learn about the environment. It's that whole educational thing that we're so focused on. So with my um, steering committee hat on right now, if, if you're out there listening to this <laughs> and you are an environmental organization, 
or even an organization that sometimes puts on environmental events, you need to go to the website uh, Climate Council GKC or Climate GKC dot org. Either one will work, right? They will. Uh, and and sign up because the Climate Council is just there for you to use. It is there to make your organization more effective. Thank you, Craig. Great plug. Yeah. So does the Climate Council ever host its own events? We do. Um, the, the, again, as a council, we're primarily there to support our partners. So the events we typically host are large events that our partners can come together with. Um, a perfect case example right now is Earth Day coming up April 22nd. We're hosting a large Earth Day celebration on April 20th. So this is a, um, it contains a speaker forum, um, a climate fair where our partners will come in and have tables available. We're doing a march and rally that day. And then that afternoon, we're doing a series of breakout sessions where all of our partners can come in and do the presentations that they're so good at doing. Yeah. So, you know, it's a large event. It's an opportunity for us as that hub you mentioned, Craig, as a hub to create infrastructure and availability for all of our partners to come together and prevent a large metro-wide event that will draw a lot of people. You know, there's been lots of attempts, and I've been involved in some of those attempts, to do what the Climate Council has got a great start at doing, and that is helping environmental groups have a bigger voice. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that is, is really good news. Now, of course, the Climate Council is primarily focused on climate change. I've also heard it called global warming. In fact, that's what we first uh, started calling it, global warming, and then it got changed to climate, uh, climate change. Uh, in fact, I, and, and when I gave my presentations, in fact, I'll be giving a presentation uh, on, the on the event that he's talking about, about climate change, uh, and I call it the climate emergency. But you, you've, your, our, our group has come up with a, a way of saying, well, is it climate change or is it global warming? So what's the rationale behind well, that? Well, actually, it's both. I mean, both are existing. Um, from a scientific point of view, we always have climate change. I mean, climate change can be both a global warming event or it could be an ice age event. So, I mean, it can go in both directions. And, you know, climate change is, is a big umbrella that includes a lot of, of, of potentially catastrophic events. Yeah. So, um, what we're dealing with right now is a cycle of global warming. And um, I should mention that we're very much a nonpartisan group. We are not interested in arguing what's causing global warming. I mean, I think we all have our opinions as individuals, but the group itself isn't there to concern itself about what causes global warming. We're there to figure out how we can reduce and reverse global warming. You know, for us, the, the, the crisis is, is people dying, the economy, the property losses that are coming with this weather cycle we're having. The global warming is affecting everybody. It's just not affecting one sector of our society. So it's important for all of us. And we don't need to be arguing about what causes it. We need to be sitting down and working together to figure out what the solutions are to stop this. We have more of our interview with Bob Grove and the Climate Council. Just click on the link above to see the final minutes, where we talk more about the Climate Council and more great information about the dangers and opportunities for our changing climate. Thank you, Bob, for coming and talking to us today. And thank uh, congratulations you. on such a great organization. I know I'm excited about it. Well, thank you. Uh, and that's why I got involved uh, with the steering committee. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can find more information and more links down below in the comments. <laughs> So uh, check that out, and uh, thank you for coming today, and we'll see you next week. We are a partner with the Climate Council of Greater Kansas City, a technology hub for organizations supporting solutions for the climate crisis. This video is sponsored by the Heartland Renewable Energy Society, working to create a clean, safe, and renewable energy future.